never never got the chance to uh, do that. Oh yeah, it was great to to drive through all the different states and all the different weather. <laughs> yep. It made me nervous though. I was like, got the highs and stuff. <laughs> it's like, oh, but now I drive local. So <laughs> yeah, I heard I heard about that. That's why I brought it up. Yeah, yeah, I drive local. <laughs> Hi, Margie. Hey. Hi guys. Hi. Hey Marja, I asked her about her where her cowboy hat was. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, she didn't them. bring them I back. Do, I do have many of them in there. There, there's probably like five or six of them in there. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't wear them very often. <laughs> yeah, they're not just like an. For me, it's not an everyday thing. My relatives uh, do the guys. Yeah, but the girls, not so much. Yeah. If yeah. I'm going to wear it, it's going to be because I'm taking selfies. <laughs> <laughs> have a reason to. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then I take it off. I, it's just for photo. It's a photo prop to me. It's a photo prop. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I think my male relatives are just covering up the bald hair. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> Right. I yeah, agree. definitely. I see Clay has his red or his pink Avon on. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I, got to, I got something to show you all that I've only shared with one person so far. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, oh, here it is. My new desk setup. Up a little higher. Yeah, we can't see it. There you go. Ooh, nice. Boy, good luck keeping it that way. Yep. <laughs> I, have a, got this. Uh, I have a five drawer piling, rolling cabinet over here. And then two drawers right here. It's, it's a lot, lot bigger. I think a lot bigger than the other one. But it's only half the wide. You know, it's not as wide as the other one. Well, it sounds like you're off to a good start at getting organized. Yeah. Yep. And that is always, always something to strive <laughs> yeah. for. You know, I had to talk to my sister. And say, well, you know, I, I need to go ahead and get this done so I, I can get this organized because we're still waiting on the shelves for the, the rack system over here. Gotcha. <laughs> so oh, you I'm had a good have... time down there, Teresa? Yes, I did. It was definitely a lot to see. I got to meet several great women down there, and I, I don't remember their names. There's <laughs> a lot. Remember, I do not remember their names, but they had a great experience. One was there, been in there for 11 years. One was there for 25 years, and they met last year in Las, was it Las, uh, Las Vegas last year? No, Las Vegas was a while last year. I think last year was supposed to be San Antonio, but we ended up, I think we ended up closing completely. I can't remember where we did it last year because it was the really messed up met year. at Las Vegas, the convention before. So. Yeah, but and I they just thought, kept for it. Yeah, they just kept in touch with each other. Yeah, and that's the good thing about that one is, you know, mm -hmm. meeting up, meeting and life, making yeah. friends, and then, you know, just keeping in touch and seeing each other once a year. So, yeah, right. that's awesome. So did you have a favorite class? Anything catch no, because, your eye? Uh, because with it being my first time, um, <clears throat> I would say I took in as much as I could. So all of them would be my favorite because it was all new to me. Awesome. I, so it looks, sounds like you had a lot. Even I, after, you know, I've done this, you know, five years now. Even yeah. I am going back and re-watching mm -hmm. the trainings. Um, that is the great thing about having them till the end of the month. Because there is so much to absorb right. in one weekend that it's almost impossible, even for us vets. So, well, um, yeah, I mean, you have to learn on a daily basis and each year and stuff. I even with me being a trainer, and it's like even with me doing this for 10 years, I'm still learning stuff every single day. I can't sit there and go with the attitude that I know it all. I have to be learning something every single day. Absolutely. Yeah, I learned some stuff. 
I figured out some things that I need to work on. We're all a work in progress. We're never going to be, you know, all that. And, you know, that's perfect. I mean, going in there just to know that you don't have to know it all and you never will. No, so no. congrats. <clears throat> I'm, I'm so glad you got to go. I had a great time doing it virtual. Um, I'm still watching some of the um, recordings just because there is a lot and I'm trying to take notes. To miss something. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, trying to, you know, tr trying to get it all in. Um, so, yeah. So that was, you know, the big thing we're all trying to unwind and recap and try to grab it all before it goes away at the end of the month. So you have until the end of the month to watch those replays. So, you know, find one that maybe you didn't get as much information mm -hmm. as you wanted and get all the notes. Yeah. And take some notes. I did grab that recording of the sip and uh, sip and clip, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. a great one. Sip and clip. <clears throat> there you go. So <laughs> I did the best I could. I know the sound was kind of. Uh, yeah. It was but, like a, yeah. It wasn't the best, but if I tried to do it in Zoom, it locked up. It would freeze and it would animate people and it was even worse. So hopefully those of us that between us that did get to go, those of us that didn't, I feel for the majority of our team, that was huge. Right. Um, it was a lot of aha moments, a lot of if you want to work your business, this is what you need to do to stay on top of everything. Um. So I will be going ahead and uh, mailing out that recording um, with the email tomorrow. Um, I will get back on top of things. You know, I've been off my game too. So I am revved up. I'm ready to get back on my game. And so um, tomorrow, um, recordings of this meeting, and um, we'll get the emails out for those who aren't on the Facebook page or don't visit enough. Um, if they check their email, that's another if. Um, then we'll see if we can't reach even more of our team because we have a large team. We just don't have many as many active as we would like. So hopefully we'll reach out and get some um, motivation going, some excitement. Fourth quarter, I mean, the Christmas stuff, the, the new products, I mean, they're going to give it to us with a caveat, you know, and I say this every Christmas, but Oh my gosh, this holiday season is going to be probably just like last year. Supplies are going to go fast. And what, you know, if there's going to be stumbles, we're going to have to be patient. It's going to be everywhere. It's not just going to be Avon. So y'all brace yourselves. We're going to get through it um, and be creative. You know, I heard that several times in convention. Um, you may not have the Santa Claus they want, but we, you know, we do have another decoration or we, you know, and think outside the box, because especially this year, um, I think some of the stuff that they did come out with now, um, that sock bundle that they have for us mm -hmm. right now, it's a $19.99 bundle. Mm -hmm. I think socks, I think regular everyday type items are going to be huge this year because people are thinking realistic. They're not thinking frivolous. They're not thinking things they can't really use, but they can use things like hand creams and um, soaps and socks and we can think outside the box and definitely get the things that they can use and that we have in stock in their hands. So we're going to go in this with a positive attitude and hopefully come out on the other side just the same. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. There are some things I would like to share. Okay, there's my screen. Seriously, where the heck is my screen? Oh, let's do. We have a drawing. We made Silver Ambassador Team again this campaign. So super, super excited. So we have Tammy, uh, Teresa, <clears throat> and Susan all had 150 plus orders. So I will be doing a giveaway. I do believe I owe Tammy and Teresa already um, 
from last time before convention mm-hmm. when things got crazy. So we right. will just double up if that if your name is drawn at this time. Boy, my <laughs> okay. Yay. Um you've been doing a creasing up also. Yeah, it was kind of getting slow there a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit though. Looks like a um I like my yeah. digital card. Oh yeah, I like that. <coughs> Sorry about my oh, coffee. No. Yeah. I was around a whole bunch of dust today, though, too, so that doesn't help matters. Oh, I, I, at work, a couple of, two or three ladies, so I passed out two books yesterday and a, couple, and a book uh, last week. Okay, so it sounds like you guys are clearing up. Did that help some? Yes. Yes. Okay, I had too much going on on my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. You get to go in like 50 different directions and um, you can even see what I was having for dinner. So, I mean, <laughs> I had too many things open. Um, so let's um, real quick, um, like I said, I just, um, the other thing that we want to touch on is uh, we had the live shopping tonight. I just posted up the free code. So they are good for yes. 24 hours. Yes. Um, great products. A um, hundred dollar order. We're even getting the Farm Farm RX uh, Bacuchiol eye tr- eye cream, which is a huge value. I absolutely love that. That is the one with the uh, plant based retinol, so mm-hmm. that you're doing terrific <clears throat> things with your eyes. But you can go out in the sun. And then they've got quite a few other things. I did not, I watched the video. Um, it's definitely, um, you can go back and see um, the replay. You can share the replay with your customers. So share the code, share the replay, and let them get in and possibly get some orders on your account. Um, here is our top 10. We did really good. So like I said, we did get back into the Silver Ambassador range. Um, I think it's only going to go up. Um, last campaign is, you know, is usually our smallest one. I can tell you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Mine was not quite this high, but I took advantage of a couple of the bundles from a uh, conference and that had retail values higher so that boosted yeah. mine up there. So that was, and um, they did not have the variety that they normally have. Um, I have to say I, I was surprised, but I did go ahead and order a couple of them just because I needed the products and I got a couple of the Christmas items. So I'm going to come back live to you guys probably tomorrow and I'm going to show you what I got. Um, but you guys did great. Um, and we had many more, uh, people who placed orders. They just weren't, um, you know, they, you know, they, they're, they're smaller. Here is the other huge thing that I'm super excited about. So everyone on our team is a contender. So this Avon next to me is huge. Avon's never done this. In the time that I've been here, I cannot ever remember an instance of like this. So it's one of those you do, you get. And it absolutely is. So if you placed in in this campaign 19, you are going to get free shipping in campaign 20. And then if you continue and you place another $150 plus order, in campaign 20, you will receive shipping in the following one. So you can receive free shipping on your campaign orders, campaign orders, not online orders. So your back office orders, you could get free shipping from now until Christmas if you consistently oh, well, place those orders. If I place an order this campaign, uh, then the next campaign, 20, I have to reach $150 to still get the. No. Okay. So let me try. Okay. So that's a good question. 
So the hundred and fifty dollar order you placed this campaign. Oh, well, uh, that, that leaves me out. It, well, you got to work on it. I'm um, working on but it. I, but I'm glad that you brought this up because that's that. Um, so if we place a hundred and fifty in this campaign, you automatically get emailed a code in next campaign and campaign twenty to get free shipping. Now um, you would have to place a campaign twenty order to get the free shipping. But if you don't hit the $150 mark, you just wouldn't get the free shipping for campaign 21. So it's a continual, you earn, you get. I think it's amazing. Um, it's gonna save you guys some bucks while you're earning your way up to those higher earnings. So I think it's a fantastic, plus we're still doing our other incentives. Um, uh, so yeah, this one is through December 6th. Um, I have a know. question. Mm -hmm. The Firebolt uh, lipstick, is there a bundle for that or is just the lipstick and the, and the uh, little circular, the best buy or the good buys? Um, is there a if it's in the goodbyes, it would just be the price that it is there. Right. I didn't know if there was, uh, um, came in like a little bundle or something. Um, unless it, if it's, if it's coming in a bundle in the little That's flyer, a, then it will. Yes. Well, I, I, I saw was some lipsticks and she pointed out one and we were straining to see what it was. And, and was uh, it in, was it in this campaign? It's in this campaign. Okay, well, let's take a look. 19. Okay. It's Firebolt lipstick, red okay. lipstick. So if we go to our digital catalogs and we go to our goodbyes flyer. Yep. <clears throat> Do you know what page that's on? No, I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll find it here in just a second. Okay, so we have shampoo bundles, awesome. Who skin so soft. Um, that is the other thing. While we're here, I want to um, shout out. You two may have heard it, but I want to make sure that everybody is getting this. Um, we're having trouble with our core products being in stock, like our skin so soft. It, the company announced that if they see products like this that they know that we're not going to have in stock for some time, you're uh -huh. seeing the um, the dates on them, like December 8th, November, you know, okay. you're seeing long-term dates. That just means the company doesn't know exactly when they're coming back. So what they're doing in the meantime is they're going to go ahead and take those out of our physical brochures. That way customers aren't saying, but it's in the brochure. So they're going to take it out. They are not leaving. They are just temporarily taking them out to help <clears> us <throat> with our customers asking for them. Okay. The, the digital brochures are going to be our most accurate. They will take them out of here also, but as they come back, they will come back into digital form first because it's so much easier to put it back digitally than it uh -huh. is into the physical brochures. So when you guys yeah. see the skin so soft go away, um, it's not going away. It's just helping us not have so many questions of, but I see it available. I want this price. Yep. Well, they won't be seeing it for a time until they get this distribution back together. Because like we said, you know, the company stopped doing it. Now, can they uh, lock in the, pr the price? Um, when they come back, the prices will probably be the same. They've been the same price for quite some time, so um, I would I would see them coming back at the same price. Uh -huh. It's just getting them back in stock um, with that um, company. The uh, I forgot their name. Um, with them stopping our manufacturing, we're having to play the catch up. Oh, so perfect. once they get all of that, we um, get them to get theirs caught up or we get a new one, a new company going, yep. then um, we will get it back in the brochures. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm not seeing, let's see, lipstick. We have lots of specials. Okay. There was a, a bunch of it on, on the, to, all together. Side. And it was on this side of the page. Oh, maybe here? Uh, might be. If it's, it's a red fireball. It's red. It has fireball. cherry red. Um, yeah, maybe may in, in the other. Not seeing it here. <coughs> yeah, that was the lipsticks. So it may have been one of the other ones. But if it does it show up yeah. like this, and it says a plus sign with uh -huh. something else, then yes, it will come as a bundle. Okay, I think it was just a lipstick, I think. I'm not sure. Okay. I was yes. just trying to figure out what the what the name of it was, and we agreed it was Firebolt. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing it here. All I see is a cherry red. Um, it, it was a red, really red. Yeah, I'm, unless it was in the, and you're saying it it's a in, lipstick, it, not a lacquer. It might be in the, the, the book itself then. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll have to see. So, um, but yeah, just, um, yeah, there's a, there's red here, but that's not what you're looking at then. That's, that is not a lipstick. Uh, I mean, it's a lipstick, but it's, it's not what you're looking for. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we've had a little flip through on our flyer. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, you guys see that we are, um, real quick, um, we are going green on this campaign. Um, if you haven't seen the A-list, um, it was a good show um, this morning. Uh, I always love it when Janine comes on and tells us about what's going on. And they also did a recap on <laughs> convention announcements. So those who aren't weren't at convention or if you did not catch all of it, go to your a list and watch your replay right up here in your back office you can watch okay. it at any time um so we are doing the farm rx i did learn um when watching it this morning um well one they will get free size free samples with purchase but the question was asked is what is the difference between um of course, the Farm RX and the Clean Bomb, um, because we have one in the Clean line. Um, let me see if I can grab it real quick without knocking everything over, because I just happened to order one myself. So we have one in the Clean line that's um, that is a bomb like this, and the only difference is is that the Farm RX is going to be. Um, of course, naturally sourced, it's going to be plant sourced, and it's going to be um, better for sensitive skin. Um, so definitely um, watching for that. And the other thing I learned, too, is that um, this one is um, the Farm RX is a uh, exfoliant also. So it exfoliates a little bit, I guess, because of all the greens in there. Gives it a little bit of a scrub. Um, so they're going to want to use this to take off any kind of makeup. I am curious to see how this does on grease. Um, because if it takes off makeup that well, I'm wondering if it takes grease off just as well. So I am going to be sampling it. I do have the clean version. But like I said, this is just our regular one. And they're both bombs. They're both cleansing bombs. So I'm going to do a... Um, before and after on um, my fellow's hands and see how it goes. Um, um, where, where, where all do you use this? <clears throat> what is what? Where do you all, where do you use all, all this this cleansing balm? The, normally, you're normally you're going to use it on your face to get all that norm. It will normally take off waterproof and water resistant makeup. Okay. But you're also going to use it to get just dirt, just deep dirt mm -hmm. off. And like I said, I'm going to see how it does with grease because my guys come in greasy from the shop. So um, I'm going to do that test. That's what not what we're advertising it for, but we're always looking for all the ways to use our products. 
And then mm-hmm. they are recommending that you wash with a soap after the balm. Okay. So um, it's a two for one because this is just getting all of that, you know, the hard to get off stuff. And then this is just getting that final cleanse. Um, the good thing when you're talking about Farm RX is about how it's um, naturally sourced all the way down to the packaging. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, like I said, this is a glass jar for the cleanser. And then you get this little refillable um, disposable pouch. So, I mean, they really think about being green all the way down to the packaging. Um, so that is what we are um, introducing this campaign. Um, we've kind of gone over that before. Here's the Farm RX. It's all within that line and our CBD. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to share this. I'm going to throw this out here. I have never figured out what to do with these little CBD, uh, the little bomb sticks down here. I know you're supposed to use them on your body, but I'm like, okay, I'm not quite getting what to do with them. I just recently found out that one really good thing that that they're good for is your cuticles, bringing your cuticles back and getting rid of, um, uh, getting rid of hangnails. Oh my gosh. Um, so, um, (laughs) Uh, hold on just one second, guys. Sorry. Good Lord. It's my husband. He would think he knows what I'm doing, right? <laughs> well, I sometimes know what my sister's doing at 9 o'clock, and I, I still tend to call him sometimes at 9 o'clock. Well, Recognize- I know. I know what he's doing, and he's getting ice cream. So... <laughs> I know he wanted his it what you wanted. <laughs> exactly. He'll bring me something back, I'm sure, because that will make it all better that he's getting ice cream. He was delivering a birthday present, but of course, he's probably picking up ice cream on the way home. <laughs> I have moose tracks in my refrigerator. <laughs> and that's it. He has ice cream here at home. So that's what we're battling <laughs> right now. Is neither one of us need it. Um, so, yeah, so these bombs. Um, These body bombs, I'm finding out, are really good for if you have, I have a horrible time with hangnails and stuff. So this is a really good product for taking care of that. Just a little tip, because I'm always trying to figure out what to do with my CBD um, products. Um, And then we have a really good on the gotta get it bag. Um, so make sure you look into that, our condition, lip conditioner, one of these hemp sticks, <clears throat> soap, and um, uh, a moisturizer. The only one thing on the back is, um, and I've had excitement over this, so make sure you're pointing out on the back that our Glimmer sticks are on sale. $349 is the lowest price of the year, so um, they're usually $399. Um, if you're, if they buy multiple, you know, that, that savings can add up. So, um, Mm -hmm. and I have people that do buy multiple, so definitely make sure that they know that that is on sale. And is this, it's the last page I was looking, it's not okay. So this one still has some of the clearance items in the back of it. Okay. So, um, so that is the campaign we are on. And we are going uh, to be, so again, on the A-list uh, show this morning, I was, I'm learning right along and keeping up with everything. The new Skin So Soft on the front page is not a replacement for our original. Our original is coming back. This is an addition to in the line while we can't get the original. So um, it's just something else to offer our customers that love skin so soft, you're going to get a free um, uh, body lotion and a velament scrub with purchase. This is not available in the what's new. It's just going to be available when the brochure comes out. So we'll all buy it at the same time if you want it. Um, but it's just another version of, um, of oils you know, to give them an option in the Skin So Soft line. Yes, sir? I have another question. 
Are we? Can we buy the earbuds in this campaign? You can. You absolutely Yay! can. So I was going to get to that. Yes. So um, our other <clears throat> new product is the, um, hold on just a second. We're going to get to that, Clay. Um, our other new product is this firming cream um, for um, from PharmRx. Again, this is going to be firming. So last time we came out with the AHA uh, cream, mm -hmm. which is the exfoliating. Now this is going to be firming. So this is more like a thick body cream and um, just the firming properties where the other one was all about, um, you know, re revitalizing and, you know, mm -hmm. having that peel. So we had to be careful with sensitive skin on the last one. This one is going to be good for people with skin sensitive skin because it is 86% natural. So that is going to be your difference on that. Pineapple is our new friend, apparently, when it comes to glow. So where we've had our vitamin C and our oranges, um, we're going to another citrus and we're going into pineapple. So apparently mm -hmm. it is a really good um, <clears throat> natural ingredient to get um, our brightening and glow going. Um, I might try this toner. I mean, she really did a good job on explaining um, the properties and, the, and it really sounds like a good property here. Um, this is the one thing that I agree with her on. Absolutely, I did this. So we have all these new products coming out. They gave us the samples. I'm so excited. So yeah. we now have a complete regimen of samples to offer somebody instead of a hit and miss and this and that. Now yeah. we have a complete, here's your cleanser, your toner, your serum, your moisturizer, your eye cream, your body. And then you can go ahead and do a self-care mask. So if you got these samples, you could give somebody a complete regimen sample um, all in, you know, get one of the little baggies or whatever, make it really cute. And um, just, you know, our Ziploc bag and just say, hey, here's the full regimen. Give it a try, tell me what you think. Yeah, you can you can use any kind of bag you like, just tie it up so that it, hey, they Margie, don't fall I've out. I've got a question. Yes. Um, now I was wanting to order some of these and normally you would find these underneath the uh, shop all products from what's in or whatever it was. And you scroll down and it'll show um, your samples, but they only had three of these. But I did not put in these numbers individually. Would they be underneath something else? They're the best place to find them is going to be in this what's new. Yeah, brochure. there was only three of them that that was showing. Really? Yes. Um. Because I play, well, let me see. Yeah, I, play I think there was only three that was showing underneath that. And it's like, dad, got it. Okay, so there is the cleanser. So that one's showing. Um, next one is toner. Toner is showing. Yeah, because it said new next to it. Huh? Because it did say new on there. So I did order samples of three of them. I don't remember yeah. which ones they were, but I know that it said new and it had, um, like yeah, but, I said, it was in your samples. But you just looked under samples? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. yeah, so I would definitely look in the, because they put a little bag right next to each one. Look mm. in the what's new on digitally and order them this way, you're still going to get, they said that we will still get the buy one, get two free, even yeah. ordering this way. Okay, that's so, what I'll do then. Yeah, because that's what I did. Um, I just ordered right next to the regimen and just went down the list. And well, yeah, I like how it actually even broke it down too for cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizers eye cream body that that's a really great way of doing that I like that yeah and you can even you know just print this out or type a little oh, something yeah. up that says 
you know, this is exactly the order you want to do it in. This is your oh, full regimen. So it's yeah. great. They have the, um, you can do a small uh, trial run too. If you have somebody that, you know, yourself, if you want minis to travel, or if you mm -hmm. have that, you know, you have really have somebody you want to um, have the bigger sizes for, they do have the deluxe minis here in oh. this. Um, yes. And, you know, I would even be tempted, you know, you could just do these two and then these two, depending yeah. on, you know, what, what, you know, kind of customer you have, um, what you're trying to push, um, what you think the customer might like. Maybe they already have, you know, something that they like in the toner. So you want to just give them the other two, you know, so kind of play with it that way. That's just another option to go a little bit more expensive but they are deluxe samples. So more, um, you could even, you know, they will be available for sale. Um, so you could even just sell them for, you know, sample or travel. Right. Right. So definitely letting them know that, um, cashmere just, prime, go ahead. I found it on page 61. Oh, in the book, in the book, is it 20? Is it what? Yeah. Book 20? Okay. It's book 19. Book 19. Um, it's this one right here. <clears throat> okay. Yep. We'll go back to that. Hold that. And we'll go back to that at the okay. end. Okay. So they did say that the cashmere, um, <laughs> this is going to be, um, is it out of stock? I they got mine. It was it out of stock I mean, and then it came back in. So I was able to grab mine. Okay, so yeah, so it was out of stock for just a moment because yes. they were saying they were frantic and they were like, nobody's back. And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> Didn't even know it was gone. I was just getting my order together. So yeah, it did come back. Good, good, good. So yeah, so we have our new cashmere um, primer, uh, plush primer prep. I'm so, looking forward to using that. Yeah, so it's an eye prep. Nice. Yeah, yeah. definitely have to give that a try. Mm. I have a question about the uh, $60 order. Now, if I place a $60 order for my customers, all together equal $60, will that will they still get the free uh, the, from free shipping? I know I have to pay the shipping. Yes. Do they get the free shipping? So if yes, if you're cut, so you're saying if your customer has products that add up to sixty dollars. Let's say I have three or four customers that add up to sixty dollars. Do I get free ship? Do they get free shipping? No. When I place the order, when I place the order. What's going to happen is, um, if you place the order, um, at, on the customer side. It's going to show free shipping, uh -huh. but when it comes back through your back office, it's still going to charge you the $8. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So I, you would know, still want to, dollars, but, no. but you would yeah. need to charge them that because otherwise it's taking it out of your earnings. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just still trying to figure out what earnings I'm getting. Yeah. And so if you've got three customers, earnings. you know, you know, look how much their order is, but break it up between the three customers. Teresa does that a lot to where she orders yeah. multiple times and then yep. just works the shipping <laughs> with the people. I, I was planning on doing that, but the thing is, they, they order like something that's like 79 cents. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, they're going to have to, they're going to have to help with the shipping there. Yeah. Well, I know about the shipping. I would, but, I, I just try to figure out because I want to tell them next uh, and next week when I go back to work that it's uh, sixty dollars uh, an order and it, for shipping. It, it, very quickly to add to all of that with the the orders and stuff, what I'm coming up across is the urgency to put in more orders because that product is so so popular or they're afraid or even myself is afraid that the product might not be there so instead of waiting until the twice a week or once a week um 
the orders are being multiplied multiple because of the urgency of afraid that it won't be there no more. How do we handle that? Um, well, you have two ways of handling that. You can handle it like you are and just let your customers know that, you know, we're kind of playing, you know, yeah. we're working on it, you know, we're not going out of stock. Um, and if they're willing to, you know, like I said, break up, you know, if you've got two or three customers, you can break up that $8 shipping. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's what I've been doing. So you can do that. Um, I have had some orders come in where I was chasing like the um, the makeup remover. So yeah. I did end up putting in an extra order, but I'll tell you guys what happens. And this is what, I mean, for me, this is what happens is that after doing this for so long, placing one or two orders a campaign is enough with everything else that I feel that I have to do you know, for my Avon, mm -hmm. yeah. um, because it does, it feels, because when you're placing those multiple orders, you're always having orders coming in. You're always bagging orders. Then you're placing more orders and you're bagging orders. And, and it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, I'd love yeah. to have your problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I honestly, I kind of, I did it that once. But um, I kind of just um, sometimes I sit back and I just see what I can do. Um, if I don't have the people to cover the, the order or the, the shipping and I don't and with the amount of customers that I'm dealing with, um, yeah. I don't um, always do it. I, if, if it happens to go out of stock, we just have the conversation that, hey, you know, um, it's out of stock. I've got you on the wait list. Now, if it becomes something like that makeup remover that we waited months for, yeah. um, I did the special because I had so many of them lined up. Um, but if it's just hit or miss on some of the other stuff, I will just say, I'm going to see what, I, and you know, and I have to tell them the same thing on the, when they get to ordering from the, um, uh, the flyer you know, on um, the discontinued stuff. Um, yeah. I have to have the same conversation with them of it's here right now when I'm taking your order. Let's cross our fingers that it's still here when I place my order on Sunday. Um, and I just have that honest conversation with them. Um, I don't think there's a wrong or right answer. It just what can you, how hard do you want to work? And, you know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. But for yeah. me, mentally, it just, I can't do, I mean, <sighs> a lot. I had so many boxes. I, you can see a box yeah. behind me. Yeah. I just had small boxes. Instead of my big yeah. boxes coming in and just doing it one time, I had small boxes coming in and I'm just constantly doing three orders, two orders. And it was not, not a good time. So it's just not my preferred preference, but Again, there's no right or wrong. Will I do that over the holidays? I may do it a little bit. It just depends on if I can, you know, cover the shipping and I can justify in my head that it's, it, you know, it's worth it. Okay. So, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it, I know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. And now this is not kid friendly, but. <laughs> we're just in that situation <laughs> this will not be a kid video but anyway hey, this is not twix kid friendly cereal <laughs> yep i know i know this one is not for kids um so we do have the um b curly coming in to our properly um line so any of your curly haired friends i have them um you know they have that coming in. Again, another yeah. resource. Okay. Um, I think I've seen this Laird de Rose come out. It's coming out like it's new again. I'm not yeah. getting this it, one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's weird. Okay, so yeah, the jewelry's coming back again. Um, I have a shopping problem. <laughs> I have a bag of jewelry over there that I'm going to be showing you tomorrow. <laughs> But oh, I have to have this set too. 
And I just finally set up my jewelry box that my husband got me, got me one of those great big hundred dollar on the wall (laughs) things. And I put my jewelry in there and I went, oh, I might need another one this Christmas. So, um, yeah, I have a jewelry problem. So, but this one she was wearing and dang, they keep wearing it and showing it. She was wearing it in the list. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, So again, you're going to have that offer to where you can get the whole bundle for $19.99. And, you know, I'm really seriously thinking about work, starting to work this a little bit. I've never had the mindset. We've never had these offers before, for one. Um, But I've never had the mindset to really offer these bundles. And we're not supposed to online, right? And so what we do with our face-to-face customers and what we do in our private VIP groups is up to us. So if I happen to show this, I get this early and I have one more campaign to be able to order this set for $20 um, to help my customers with their Christmas shopping. I'm honestly thinking of showing it, saying I have, you know, I have two, two top, the top two customers that get to me first. I will give you this bundle for $26. I will make a $6 earning because it's $20 here. And then, um, and it has no limit on this offer. So where we can only get two out of the brochure, they're not limiting these. Now I'm not going to go full blown crazy but i would like to be able to start helping my customers with their christmas ordering i and mentioned that to them uh, at, uh yesterday that you know, uh christmas is just around the corner yeah yeah i saw a, a post that said 20 fridays till christmas i'm like holy <laughs> moly so yeah. yeah i mean when you think of that in paycheck form that's not a whole lot of time. Here's another bundle. Uh, Janine was wearing this gold bundle. Again, you could do the same thing with your customers if you want to offer them, mm-hmm. you know, because this one's only $15 for three pieces. Um, You could offer it for $20, $22. You'd be making a 40% earnings and you could give them the whole bundle for your VIP customers. You're not going to want your, you can't blare this out there, but if you have those, you know, those jewelry lovers, you have those people. um, I have my VIP group. Um, If, if you have seen my Avon with Margie on Facebook, you also see, I have a VIP group. I don't normally invite um, my team members in just for Mm -hmm. the simple fact that, Um, What I do in that group is special to my customers. So, um, you know, I, I love, I will give you guys all the ideas that I'm doing in there, like this offer, but I don't want, you know, everybody getting in there and saying, you know, Margie said, and and Margie's doing this and blah, blah, blah. Right. What stays in your VI, what goes on in your VIP group that stays in your VIP group. Um, These socks, I think, again, um, we are talking about Christmas Um, with uh, everything going on like it is. I think this year is going to be practical. I said this last year, and I think it's going to be again this year. Um, So they have this bundle of socks for all of this for $19.99. And you I mean, it would make an awesome Christmas gift. Um, so I am going to also purchase this and give my VIPs an option at this because I think that it's going to be great. Um, we for I don't know if you saw this, Clay, but we for the first time we have men's socks over here. Yeah, caught your attention. <laughs> so <laughs> we we do have the five pack of men's socks and they are um fit sizes uh, six to 12. So you have the black and gray. And we've also got the um, compression socks up here. Um, these are, I'm gonna say those are more women's, but I, I don't know. 
but I know these right here say five pack of men's. So we finally got in some men's products, which is great uh -huh. because again, we're talking Christmas. Right. I so was they would have some men's stuff in there. Exactly. Yeah, I wish they would get more men's stuff on here. I do too. Um, they showed the $30 bundle, you know, $30 your price. Fifty dollars. Did, did you miss the uh, the socks galore that bundle for uh, nineteen ninety nine? No, you get all of them. Yeah, yeah, right you can yep. get all of them, and you get a hair clip. She was saying that yes. the hair clip was really soft. It's not one of those really uh, right. scratchy ones. Yeah, she said it's really nice, and she said the socks are really soft too. I'm guessing the men's would be the mm. same quality clay. So, um. She's saying it's a really nice thing. I have, um, yeah, I, uh, you know what, while we're I here, need the hair clip. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my cart because I'm not going to forget it. So we're going to add that to y'all too. That's a good deal um, right there. That's I know, pairs. I'll forget it. I don't want to forget. Yeah, yeah. So I got, I got two, I got two uh, daughters that love socks. So, um, you know, that they love fun socks. I mean, they don't love just socks. Do they wear matching socks? Because my stepdaughter, she does not wear matching socks. My daughter, I know she is 28 <sighs> years old this year. And since middle school, she has never worn matching really? socks. <laughs> that drives me crazy. That is like a pet peeve of mine. I might have got to be matching. And every time I see my stepdaughter not wear matching socks, it drives me crazy. It is a thing. And it has been a thing for some time. And, you know, I, I don't get it either. I mean, and there for a while, they used to sell the bundles unmatching just because the kids wouldn't match them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I was just curious because mine is like, it drives me crazy when I see her not wearing matching socks. Yep. I know. Me too. I gave up because like <laughs> I said, it has been well over 10 years and she still won't wear oh matching my socks. Goodness. <sighs> Kids, you know, that generation. <laughs> my I gosh. Did. Yeah. You're, I'm like you. They got to match. That's just craziness. I yes. Wearing <laughs> shoes and socks uh, when we growing up, and he'd go outside and go around the corner and take them off and go to school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, forget about them. Yeah. And um, so we finally came out with a stick deodorant. They we yes. have been asking Avon yes. for this forever. Um, and I guess the really good thing about this one, something new to me, is um, it is, uh, come here, it is uh, aluminum free, which apparently for pregnant women is a thing. So I didn't really? know. Yeah. So definitely um, make sure Thank that we so bring that out when we're talking to our customers because it's it's a thing. And then they have the wipes, too, that are just the um, deodorant <clears throat> wipes and then the deodorant stick. So, and both are aluminum-free. Okay. So, awesome, awesome. And now we're getting to what Clay was excited about. You can buy your earbuds. Yes. So, we went through. So, they are $100 our price. So, that, but in... She, we asked her, what is the difference between the earbuds we sold two months ago and these? And she said, it's just like any other technology. The minute you buy something, they're coming up with something bigger and better. So when you are selling these, the upsell to these is um, that one, instead of just, just doing the nano cleansing of the ear piece that goes in your ear, it is a full case cleansing for the bacteria. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is these will attach to a TV. Yes, but it's gonna be an LG TV. Yeah. I don't have an LG TV. I have a digital yes. TV. It's gonna be an LG TV because we did research on that. So it has to be an I LG. Yes, that. yes. So keep that in mind, it does have to be LG TV. Blue, yeah, so Bluetooth, wireless, Google and Siri. Yeah. TV control, voice command, yeah. water resistant. So it has to be an what about LG. My, what about my iPhone? 
iPad. Yeah, it should connect to those. Mm -hmm. Yep, should connect I, to that. Yep. I like watching videos while <clears> I'm <throat> at work, wait, waiting to go to work. And yeah. uh, I use my iPad quite a bit. Yeah, so that is uh, that is it. So we get to, this is the first time, so these are exclusive to Avon for now. We are the first ones to be selling these. Nobody else will be for a while. We also, it's the first time that we get to pre-order um, for out of our what's new because this isn't going to come out to our customers online. It's not, um, she kept saying online, but it says brochure offer. So it's got to be, oh, shop. Okay, so if they shop through your online store, they're going to be 149 but they will receive a $30 off coupon for a future online purchase oh. so that's that's where the online part comes on is that oh. for our customers for them to get that $30 um off it'll have to be $30 off an online what? purchase in the future my I my i can uh buy this for a hundred dollars but you account. can buy this for a hundred dollars they're normally Regularly one hundred seventy nine ninety nine hundred eighty dollars. Your cost one hundred dollars. See now I can I can. This will be a, a conversation piece at work. Absolutely, and, LGBT, and they can't LGBT. get it. Yep, and they cannot get it anywhere else. So yep, so awesome, awesome. Um, I do have a question for you, Teresa, real quick. Um, I haven't finished my expo um, uh, watching yet. Um, is there a new speaker coming out that they showed at expo? Did you notice? I'm thinking that they did mention the person or mention that, but again, there was just so much activity and so much to take in. I don't remember all the details of everything, but I'm almost thinking that is correct. I've heard something about that. I'm going to rewatch it. And I have some pictures where somebody was taking pictures of the stacks and there was something in there. So maybe when we, when I post those pictures that somebody because took. Because I, I wasn't sitting very close. I was sitting more towards the back. So being all excited about being at a place like that with so much to take in and the lights and the people being excite, excited and stuff like that. And I don't know people's names. I do apologize. I wish I oh. did remember people's names, but I do not. Well, your your first year. Why would you know their names? <laughs> I, I do remember their faces. I just like their their names. Is and like, the oh, one man. that you would have known, Molly, wasn't there. So <laughs> you've been over on Molly's page. I've seen you over there. So and I and I do know that I, I guess Everlyn sent me a message, but I did not know who she was. But I didn't have my phone on ringer because I didn't want the interruption. So I missed her message. She said she wanted a picture for the team members, but I missed her message. Okay. So I, I don't know Craw who Everlyn, I don't know who Everlyn is. Everlyn Crawford is your account executive. You're in Missouri, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, um, we all have account executives. Um, when you saw my presentation, Lisa Wright up on stage, she is mine here in Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, okay. and Missouri, um, Arkansas, Tennessee. I don't know how it's all broken up, but Evelyn is your account executive. Okay. So that just means above me, um, you would go, if you wanted some answers or something, Evelyn would be a good person to contact. Um, I know that I have seen, I, I can't remember who, whose account I was on, um, but I did see um, that she sends out emails, like yes, on close out. Yes, I get them. Yeah. yeah, you get those from E. Crawford. That's her sending them to you. 
Okay. Yeah. And like I said, I had my phone on silent because I didn't want the interruption or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I missed her, oh, yeah. I missed her message. And then it's like, oh, well. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. They, they, they sent out a mass text, I'm sure, trying to get their pictures yeah. in. But yeah, yeah so that's I, who I she is. That. And so everybody has an account executive and they just cover multiple states. Lisa happens to be mine on the Kansas side. On the Missouri side, it's Evelyn. So I see. I see. Okay. I didn't know who she was and I already missed her message. And it's like, who's this Everlyn person sending me a message? <laughs> so, yeah. So other than that, I'm trying to think. Um, we're just going to, you know, uh, we're going to keep going, going on. So we've done the brochures. Um, oh, we were supposed to go back to 19 for clay. Yeah. Uh 19 page real quick. Yep. And we're going to um, make page 61. Up page 61. Okay. All right. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, fire bolt. Yeah. Is that the one you're looking for? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then, do you need the number? I got the number. I just okay. we couldn't we couldn't was having a hard time reading that firebolt. Okay. Yep. That is the color that you're wanting is firebolt, and um, uh, yep. And you know, there it, it is just the lipstick for eight forty nine. So it it's not a bundle. It's just the lipstick. Yeah. Um, out of curiosity. I wondered. Okay, so this is where you always want to kind of look for the best price for your customers. Uh -huh. um, if when you order, you go up here, you're going to pull uh -huh. down in campaign 18. Right. It was on sale for $4.99. So you can choose right. to give her the $4.99 price. Now it is, well, shoot, it is out of stock. You need to go to wait list. Oh, oh, no. So oh, it oh. won't be $4.99 then. But, oh, wait a second. That's Eclipse. Hold on, hold on. That's Eclipse. Hold on. I didn't have the right. Let's see if Firebolt's in stock. Oh, you're going to luck out. Firebolt is in stock. So when you go to order, you can drop down and order for her from the campaign 18 uh -huh. and get it for her for $4.99. So she could buy two. Yeah. She could buy two for the same, just about the same price she was going to pay for one. So there you go. So do that drop down menu and that's how you do it. I wondered oh, with that lipstick sale that we just had. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I might forget anything. Special offers. Um, you guys just make sure that you go in and look at your special offers. Um, oh, the one thing I did want to say, especially because of my two attendees here. Um, I don't know if you caught it in conference. I don't know if they ever said it, but in the chat virtually, we were all asking about, because I, I kept saying, the one thing I, I that you'll get in your bag is the pewter ornament, right? They said that it is coming. So those of us who attended and got our swag bags will be receiving the uh, pewter ornament in our campaign 21 order, I okay. think it was. What so is it that? is coming for free. What is it? Um, we have a collectible ornament. pewter ornament that Avon does every year. It's different each year, but they've been collecting it for 20 or more years. Um, I have friends that can show me ornaments way back. So it's going to be an ornament for your Christmas tree. So you will be getting that. So because um, I was very disappointed um, because that's the one thing I look forward to is seeing what the ornament was so they didn't even have it there at conference i'm guessing it's a 
um, supply issue. They just didn't get them in in time. Right. Um, and I bet there's going to be even more that um, we're, we're, there's going to be more Christmas. We just wasn't probably all there to see. We ran into the same problem last year um, where more just popped up because now all of a sudden it was in stock by the time the books came out. So exciting, exciting, but absolutely stay on top. If you can share with your customers from the what's new, do it, buy it then. Because like I said, this year, you know, it's going to be just, just as rough for us as it is everybody yeah. else. Um, so yeah, check your A-list show, check your special offers, watch your buzz. You know, that was the one thing that we learned um, in the sip and click is that just staying on top of your business, um, you know, in the mornings, just have that routine or in the evenings, whenever it is, if it's your lunch break. You don't have to do, um, you don't have to do it at, you know, the time everybody else does. Just take a few minutes and call, a, you know, send off a few brochures, call a couple of customers, um, learn about what's going on with the business, keep up. But um, yeah, you have to be, uh, <laughs> Clay's having a good time with that. You're going to have to just be proactive to stay on top of what's going on. So yeah, a lot, there's a lot going on, but it's a lot of good things. One final, I, I swear it's the final thing. Had something, I apparently something happened at conference. I'm gonna let the team know. Um, Y'all, I pushed the campaign mailer, right? Where the uh, company would mail them for you right. um, and it would be cheaper. Well, apparently, um, Though it, that was representatives doing that. We've had representatives in the past that have taken care of things like our ink stampers and, and they're allowed to do that on certain circumstances as long as they stay in good standing as reps. Well, it doesn't look like um, campaign mailer is going to be available any longer. Oh. So yeah, um, you have to watch your P's and Q's. Mm. You will get caught if you're doing something majorly wrong they were given the option to correct their behavior and they chose not to so their um campaign oh. mailer will not be an option for us anymore so if we want to mail out our brochures we'll have to just take them to the post office and you know mail them like in right. but i you know in another way that you have to look about it it may cost us a little bit more but at least we're getting the award sales for the brochures we buy now. When we used Campaign Mailer, we weren't getting the award sales for them. Oh. So and because they mailer, were buying them. Campaign Mailer, is that this right here? No, it was a company that would mail those for us. They would purchase yeah. them and yeah. then they would do a bulk mailing mm -hmm. for us. Um, so I've taken it off of our team page. I'm taking okay. it off of my YouTube and yeah, okay. they're just not, if you have, I will say, if you have used them, go back in there, snatch your addresses, um, make sure that you've got mm -hmm. all your addresses saved and also take back, um, they have a history, purchase history, take a snapshot of your purchase history for tax purposes, but that's okay. just for those who may have used it. Um, so. But we can mail these right here. This is what they were yeah. mailing. Yeah. 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 You can yeah. do that. Yeah. They were just a they were just a convenience for people that were, you know, not wanting to do it on their own. They just did it for us. They were cheaper because they had bought a bulk mailing license. Right. Um, so that's not something that us average representatives can really afford to do is, you know, buy a you know, you have to have a permit that you renew every year and it's just not feasible oh. for, you know, the for wow. us normal reps to do. I see. So, but that... I, want, I wanted to share that I haven't dyed my hair for over a year. Uh-huh. So, I got me an Avon yes. hair dye. So, I'm anxious to use it, but yeah, I'm kind of nervous about using it because I haven't dyed my hair in so long, but 
it needs it. The back part and the ends need it really bad. I have to tell I'm you that. <laughs> yeah, have you need you, purple have clay. You used it, have you used this before? I have not used those, but if I am brave enough to go pink and purple, girl, you can do blonde. <laughs> they, well, I, I noticed will that say the that packaging is totally different. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, it needs to be done, but I haven't touched it because my hair I'm trying to get my hair more healthier so it's like well I don't want to damage my hair you know so my hair's been doing so much better since I stopped dyeing it yeah and that's kind of why I did it a one and done um and I'm fighting some grays but I'm resisting yeah. um but um you know I asked um I asked Janelle on here, our, our team, she's a hairdresser, and she said that she thought that ours would be perfectly fine. Well, one thing that I've noticed with this one, the normal, that they have a pre-color where you just do your ends. Look how tiny that little package is. Um, and it's so cute, too. It was like, <laughs> I love their packaging. I think their packaging is what got my attention. But one thing that's different between this product than somebody else's product is that it has a pre-color. And it's like, what the heck do you do with a pre-color? But the direction says just to do your ends because that's where most of the damage gets done at is on the ends. So I'm anxious to use this. So Yeah, well, that's, that's nice that they're thinking ahead and that they're, you know, have something to proactively treat well, the yeah, hair as the damage the other ones yeah because the other companies they don't have this exactly so that is a good selling point if you guys don't know anybody that does do dye hair as often as i have they don't have this with the other products out there that you would get at walmart or other places oh, drug stores let's just say drug stores um they don't have this so i'm glad that they actually provide that for you. I have, I have a question for both of y'all. When somebody says, well, I, I do uh, Mary Kay, what, what, what is your response to that? <laughs> well, <laughs> it just depends. Um, you know, if they say they do Mary Kay or they no, buy Mary Kay. They buy Mary Kay. Um, you can tell them that, you know, it is a a personal preference, um, but that Avon has come up with, you know, Avon quality is so much better and than what it used to be, you know, what they, what they think they know and that our prices are better, mm -hmm. um, but that it is just a mm -hmm. personal choice on what they want to buy. Um, I do not, you know, I do not bad mouth another company, um, you know, it, cause it really is. I had a customer just today, absolutely just today called me, wanted a coral blush. We do not have a coral blush in any way right now whatsoever. And she said, I hate to say this to you. And I never thought I would do this, but I think I'm going to see if Mary Kay has anything Otherwise, I'm going to go to Macy's and see if they have something. Um, happens. Yeah, but it happens because I didn't have anything to offer her. But um, it, for, to me, wouldn't that also be, okay, I'm glad you do Mary Kay, but we also, one thing about Avon is different from Mary Kay is that we have different products. We have household, we have pet products. You know, I would push other products than just makeup products. I, I told them that. I said, we, we do all kinds of stuff. We yeah. brushes, toothpaste, mouthwashes. I said, oh, you do jewelry and clothes? Yeah. Of course we do. Yeah, we have hygiene, all of that. Perfect. Perfect. So you were on top of it more than I was. I was thinking makeup just because <laughs> that was the question I had today. Um, they, yeah. they said they yeah. wanted, wanted, so did you know that you, if you sold Mary Kay, you could uh, get a pink car Cadillac? So I don't want a pink Cadillac. They're nice, don't get me wrong, but I don't want a pink Cadillac. <clears throat> and do you know how much you have to sell to get that pink Cadillac? Quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, there's. I had a a, 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 a a lady that went to the church I was going to do. She sold it, and she was always having to get rid of cars and and stuff. 
uh, she would have them. But don't she did enough to do that? But, you know, she would have to turn it in after a while. Well, you know, you know I'm congratulations like, to her. We all have to find the business that's good for us. And, and I, I just like having for a everybody. wider variety. I think <laughs> that we're vegan free. Yes. I, yeah, I don't know about their products, but our products are, you know, so good. You know, we are going into that clean, green, vegan free, everything, you know, that that we can offer. So, okie dokie. Well, I am going to um, uh, gonna let you guys go, go, go get you some earbuds. <laughs> hey, that's a hundred dollar order. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See if you can throw your other little uh, orders on there, put it all together <laughs> and uh, use that coupon from tonight and get all the freebies. Mm -hmm. I took advantage of that. So, yeah. I will be after we get off here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have time before I came on. But yeah, I'm going to be placing an order tonight. So, yeah, I, I totally am with you. So, all right. Well, you guys have a good night. And um, any questions, just let me know. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. You guys have a good evening. You, you too. too. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. I'm going to leave. Here we go.